You know, for many of us, particularly in the Sioux Falls area of South Dakota, there were two captains we grew up with. One was Captain Eleven right uh, here in Sioux Falls. Every day after school we'd rush home, grab a bowl of Wheaties or a snack, sit down on, for many of us, was a linoleum floor and watch Captain Eleven. The other captain all around the country, Captain Kangaroo. Who was Captain Kangaroo's friendly neighbor, the guy that always helped out? Well, that, of course, was Mr. Green Jeans. Now, I came to find out that G, his real name, wasn't neither Green nor Jeans. His name was Hugh Branham. But we knew Hugh Branham primarily for about three decades, actually, as Mr. Green Jeans. What you may not know, what a talented man, Mr. Green Jeans, oops, I mean Hugh Branham, what a talented man he was. He played for years prior to Captain Kangaroo with the Fred Waring Orchestra. We're talking back in the 40s into the 1950s. A talented musician. Hugh Branham then, of course, became Mr. Green Jeans. And again, for about three decades, generation after generation loved Bunny Rabbit, Mr. Moose, of course the captain, and of course, Mr. Green Jeans. Hugh Branham from the Fred Waring Orchestra to Mr. Green Jeans. So, we loved him for decades. Whatever happened to Mr. Green Jeans? Well, Mr. Green Jeans passed away in 1987 from cancer at the age of 77 years old. But Mr. Green Jeans lives on forever in the memories of kids like me.